What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for The Forest, where we now have the modern bow. Hells yeah, man. This thing is freaking dope. Um, some people are pointing out that the crossbow is actually stronger, because I think I named the episode the strongest uh, the strongest weapon in the game. Now, I think this... I, I don't remember, okay, guys? I got the crossbow when it first came out, and I don't quite remember exactly why I didn't like the crossbow. There was something about the crossbow that I did not like it. And I think it was the bolts, okay? I think the bolts are really hard to get to. You can only hold 10 at a time, and that's a real problem. I mean, I can hold like a million arrows. Um, this thing shoots maybe even faster uh, than the crossbow. Although, I, like you said, the crossbow does do more damage, fair enough. Maybe I shouldn't have said the most damaging weapon in the game, but I think it's the best ranged weapon in the game. Um, I'll take this any day over the crossbow. Although, again, Keep in mind, I got the crossbow when it first came out, and that was a long time ago. I don't know if it's been changed. I don't know if, if I just didn't get used to it. I don't know. But, yeah, the crossbow. We will eventually get the crossbow, but not today. Today is going to be all about building back with the forest that actually outperformed Seven Days to Die. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just glad you guys are loving this series because I'm really enjoying doing it. And, um, yeah, let's get to building. All right, so there's a couple things I want to do. Before we actually... I thought I saw something over there. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do before we actually get to the actual building part. So why don't we go ahead and use all these sticks, okay? Now what we're going to be building today is up there. And we're going to need a lot of logs, okay? And the fact that we're going to need a lot of logs, is, you know, means we're going to need a lot of log sleds. And all these log sleds are filled up with stone and sticks. And we got to get these things out of here. Plus we still have to finish up here. So let's go ahead and bring this up here and um, I want to do this like somewhat intelligently and not just like I don't want to I don't want to finish the parts that are going to get in the way of me moving around here easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up the outside first uh, because that won't be getting in my way if I uh, you know if I try and get past it right so that would be wonderful. Also um, I did pick some blueberries and I also picked some um, I also picked some uh, some aloe, aloe vera. Now neither of them gave me Oh, actually, the blueberries gave me some seeds, but the aloe vera didn't give me any seeds. I picked two aloe vera plants out of here. Not one of them gave me seeds, and that's a, that's a little disappointing. I mean, I can go pick aloe vera out in the world. It's not like it's that hard to get to, but I don't know. I, I think, like, back in the day when you actually got the seeds back, because I guess you don't get enough seeds. I, I think the idea is they want you to go out and keep exploring and keep looking around and stuff, and... I guess I, I understand that, and like, th there's something to be said about that. I mean, Miss Survival has a real problem with enticing people to go out in the world. Um, there's just not enough loot out there. So I do like the fact that the game wants you to go out in the world, but I don't know. I kind of feel like a farm should be somewhat, you know, uh, self-sustaining. I, I don't know. Maybe I just got maybe I just got unlucky, and you do get seeds back at a good clip. I mean, I I understand. I'm not gonna get enough seeds um, to where I won't ever have to go out again. Uh, so that's fine. But I don't know. I kind of wish I got like. I think it should be like 50% or something. Maybe even more than that. I think it should be like 75% seeds. I don't think you should have to go in out to get this stuff. Although, I guess the idea is you're not going to use aloe vera a ton. So, how much do you really need? I don't know. I like the stockpile stuff, guys. I'm a, I'm a hoarder in these games. I like the stockpile things. I want to have enough medicine to freaking take care of an army of people. You know? Who knows? Maybe one day I'll rescue Timmy and I'm going to need some medicine. Because, you know, I got news for you. If I rescue Timmy, we're not getting off this island. You know? I'm going to stay here and I'm going to build a goddamn resort. And it's going to be awesome. And people are going to want to come to this island. I'm going to I'm gonna up the tourist attraction. This island so great. And all the, the cannibals hate me. But you know what? All of the property value that they have is going to skyrocket. All right? So they hate me now. But, you know, let's see. I can just see me rescuing Timmy. And Timmy like, all right, Daddy, let's go home. And I'm going to be like, no, son. We're going to build. Let's build. I'll be like Walter White. Let's cook. We got to cook. You know? It's going to be awesome. I gotta get some lights in here at some point. Um, all right, so let me show you. I don't know if I showed you guys how I deal with the blueberries once they're um, once the bush is all you know all its blueberries are eaten out, right? What I do is I like to use a repair tool because it gives me the most precision, right? So you just kind of hit it once, hit it twice. You gotta be careful because you know you could easily hit the the bushes around it, you know the ones that still have blueberries on them. So you break those out, and the reason you break those out is because once the blueberries are picked, they won't grow back. So you just go ahead and plant more. All right? And I am full of blueberries now as well. Uh, I should have left the log sled up here. Oh, well. Anyway, so uh, the fence, the fences up here are just about done. One more, you know, logging out, logging back in, and tearing down all those sticks, bushes, and stuff. We'll uh, finish up up there, and that is great. The place is almost done. We just need to add some lights. And, um, yeah, as far as I can tell, that's pretty much it. All right, so we also have these stone uh, sleds, which got to kind of be emptied. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and just kind of put some of these in the wall. You can only hold 10 of these at a time. There we go. And I'm going to start uh, building up the wall as well. Uh, just trying to get these stones out of here. Basically, I don't go out of my way to grab these stones, right? I mean, I just, uh, <laughs> while I'm like just kind of move, walking around, like just kind of grabbing sticks and getting ready for the episode, I just pick up every stone I come across, man. They're all over the place. And that is wonderful. So it's going to make this stone wall, um, you know, I'm not going to say easy to build or quick, you know, but it's going to get done. So that's all, that's all you can ask for in this game. So let me go ahead and uh, get all these st stones or these, see, look at this. this. This is just what I do. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Five, six I just picked up. You know, you do that like, f like for 10 minutes while I'm getting ready, maybe 15 minutes while I'm getting ready to record a video. <laughs> it's just like freaking stones everywhere. Stones for days. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, okay. Let's stop. <laughs> let's stop. Let's quit while we're ahead. Well, that's a lot of guys. I think we're gonna bring them over to the bone zone. That's what it's there for. I was debating whether I was gonna fight them. Oh Jesus. I was debating where I was gonna fight them, like out in the open. But no, we got the bone zone for a reason. The only thing that sucks is on these sticks to reset it up. Don't forget, every time a happy birthday trap goes off, in order for you to set it up, you need sticks. But there are plenty of uh, sticks in the area. I can I can kind of cut down little trees, and uh, yeah. So you know, man, this is what we got it for, man. This is what we got it for. Come on in, bro. Yeah, and if they don't get in, I can always shoot arrows at them. You know, just to kind of entice them. I won't use my good arrows though. There you go. You like that? Oh boy, he didn't like that. Okay, I think I'm going to second one. Oh, he's got it. Give me that arrow. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Look at that. Huh? What, you know what we say in these kind of situations, right? Let me know in the comments. Hell yeah. And I think the other one ran away. So I could get bones out of these guys, and I probably should. You know what we need to do in here? We're not going to do it today, but we need to start building this up. All right, because there's going to be certain things I'm going to want to put in the bone zone. Um, and one of those things is going to be a way for me to collect skulls. Uh, because I really need to start collecting skulls. We should, honestly, you should probably do it today, but in the interest of, um, staying on, on point, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to continue, uh, working on the wall. <laughs> so I've got a problem over here I'm not looking forward to. I need to put a door here, but I tend to not like to put doors on angles. And to be perfectly honest, I don't remember why. Um, I don't know, but yeah, I don't like putting doors on angles, but I think we might have to, uh, ugh, really... I think we might have to put one there. Hold on. I don't even know why I bother with that spear. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't like putting doors on uneven ground, but I, I might have to put one there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I got some ideas, but I don't know. That's not really what today's video is going to be about, so I will not mess around with it. We got all the stone out of our log sled, so now it's time to take down some trees. And I'm going to need a large amount of trees, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the cannibal camp. And we're going to go ahead and get ourselves uh, some dynamite. And we're really going to take down some trees. Um, I don't know where we could take down trees. You know, we could probably take down trees up there. But that's pretty close to the cannibal camp. Uh, eventually, I want to be able to get up there and, like, kind of wall off the area up there. But for now, it's not really um, it's not really very safe. All right. Well, first things first. Let's go get the, uh, let's go get the dynamite. And then uh, we'll see what's what. Um, oh, you know, first things first is we got to put these things on the drying rack. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish some of the drying racks inside the area uh, under my base. I don't know. What do you want to call that? Like the, the, the food place? The storage? I don't know. The storage area underneath the base. Um, I'm going to finish up the drying racks. And I'm going to put some... Uh, I'm going to put some of this meat up there so it doesn't go bad. And then we're going to go get some dynamite. So we're going to go this way to hit the cannibal camp. This, ooh, there's a lot of trees over here. This might be a good place to TNT as well. Um, yeah, we're going to go this this way to the cannibal camp this time. Uh, because this will allow us to pass by that hut that gives us all the rope. Like three pieces of rope. And um, it also brings us out right behind, um, right behind the uh, hut with the dynamite. So this is probably a better way to go. It might even be... It, I think it's a little bit longer. Um, but maybe not, I don't know. But either way, we could also catch some fish if we want to. I'm not, I'm not gonna catch any fish though. I don't, I don't have my spear with me and, you know, I really don't need the food right now, so. And you might be thinking, well, Cage, you know, get the food, right? I mean, you're gonna need food eventually. Yeah, it's true, but, um, you gotta manage your time. And my time right now is, I gotta start building what, what I wanna do for this episode. We're already about 10 minutes in. And I haven't even gotten to 
you know, to work on the part of the uh, episode I want to do. Um, we're gonna be building on top of the main structure, the first, uh, the first building, and uh, that's what I'm looking at. So let's come over here and grab some rope. You always need rope. I'll be doing a lot more with, uh, um, with zip lines. So zip lines need a lot of rope. So this place looks pretty deserted so far. Sometimes they spawn in when you get close, but I don't know. I once had an idea to shoot. You see that? Oh, that's a cow man. That's cow man. And cow man is not to be trifled with. Hello. I'm out. Peace. Freaking cow man. I saw him off in the trees. Alright, well I got the dynamite and I got some soda. That's all I really had to get. So let's GTFO. There's still one more rope I can get out there. But <laughs> the hell with that. <laughs> Cowman sucks. He's he's there's a there's a couple. I think there's a monster or two in this game I've never seen before because they were added in like um, full release and you have to play for like a hundred and something days or something to see them. Uh, but as far as the, the the mutants I've seen, Cowman's the worst. I hate him. He charges at you and he's really really hard to dodge. As a matter of fact, just in case he, he comes at me, let me get my um yeah that thing's out. Okay, good. Get rid of that. Let's um, let's put on our good arrows just in case Cowman starts crap. Also, people, um, remember I was using fire against the mutants last episode? People were telling me that the uh, fire has been supremely nerfed um, against mutants. So, I will not be using uh, fire against mutants anymore because it doesn't seem like there's any point to it. Oh, it sticks in here? <laughs> well, not anymore. So, the problem with Cowman being over there is that the, is that the exact spot area... The, not the exact spot, but the exact area that I wanted to TNT. Now, I don't know if that actually matters. If I leave the area, he might despawn. I don't know. But I think I'm going to TNT over here first. I'm going to put half the log sleds over here, half the log sleds over there. And I'm going to TNT over here first. If I got to fight Cowman, I got to fight Cowman. It's not that I can't beat him. He's just, um, he's just, he's a toughie. He is a toughie. What's up, rabbit? It's okay. I'm not hungry. You are safe for now. But I'm going to TNT the how many use two two TNTs over here. Or maybe I'll use one over here and two over here. I'm not really sure. It seems like this area is the more lucrative area. So we'll have to see about that. But for now, let me just get the log sleds into place and then we'll start throwing some dynamite. Okay, so all the log sleds are in position, and with any luck, we won't have any um major mutant attacks. Um I can deal with some cannibals. By the way, did you see the uh Did you see the the rope shadow? That's freaking that's dope. The shadow of the rope is dope. Word. All right, so. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, chuck some dynamite. Actually, it's, we're probably going to need two here. I'd prefer not to use two over here. But we'll see. Because I think we want three for the other side. There's a lot more trees on the other side. So, we'll see what that does. Uh, uh, oh, it did reach the ones in the back. Okay, great. Great. I, I didn't think it was going to reach the ones in the back. That is awesome. All right, so they should all roll down the hill. Looks like we lost the um, log sled. That might be gone for good. Let's take a look. Um, uh, there we go. Never mind. It looks like we have saved it. I thought this was water over here, but it's kind of like a, a dried lake bed type thing. All right, cool. We saved it. All right, so we're going to bring this one up here because it looks like not all the logs came down. I thought they would all come down the hill. Oh, wait, where'd they all go? Did they all go down the hill? I don't see a lot of logs, considering I just blew up like 20 trees. I wonder if I lost some. I guess it's possible. I mean, there is a lot of logs down here. Yeah, it looks like most of them rolled down. Alright, well, there you go. I mean, there was at least like five trees there. Yeah, I feel like... Sometimes the logs, like when you use some dynamite, they just kind of fly off in the distance. That could have happened as well. They could be up on that hill for all I know. Who knows? Maybe they just got destroyed. I, I don't know. But you know, when, when you're when you're mining with TNT, it's not gonna it's not gonna go all you know smoothly all the time, I guess. All right, I don't see any others up here or any back here. All right, well, it is what it is. Yeah, I think we. Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. There's like six trees. 
I don't know. Maybe that is the amount of logs. I mean, you only get like four, what, four or five logs per tree. Sometimes, most of the time, four, I think. So that would be 24. So that would be uh, basically two log sleds full. No, I... Eh, I think I lost some logs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Well, I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Not going to worry about it. Well, while we're here and we have the log sleds, let's just go ahead and chop down some trees the old, the old fashioned way. And um, I might TNT those over there. I'm not really sure. Honestly, I'd kind of like to save all the TNT for the other side. And we are not going to take out the stumps because we would love nothing more than to get these uh, logs again. Um, yeah, the logs are going to need a lot of logs to build our house. Um, and then we're going to need a lot of stone, not only for the wall, but I want to make stone paths. And stone paths obviously, well, take stone. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> stone, stone paths take stone. So, I'm going to continue cutting these down here. Alright, that's half the job done. Uh, there's three full log sleds there. There's still a log sled out there. I'm just going to leave it there so when the trees grow back, you know, I have a log sled in position. Um, there's three full log sleds right there, and I brought one over here. So, that's four full ones, which is just phenomenal. And now, it's time to go to the dangerous area and start chucking um, dynamite like it ain't no thang. Okay. Now let's find a good spot here for some dense trees. These trees aren't very packed together, unfortunately. But, oh, th these are. Okay, here we go. These are going to fall down the hill, unfortunately. But, you know, that's okay. Alright, and there we go. And big boom. Big boom go boom. And there we go. Just tearing down the forest. Ten trees at a time. Like a boss. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now we do have to worry here. Because this is pretty close to Cannibal, you know, headquarters, you know. <laughs> this is where they launch our operations from, you know what I mean? Um, you know, they get all together, they chow down on some people, and then they say, let's go get that KJ-4. He's chucking, he's, he steals our dynamite to knock down our forest. Now, I don't exactly think the cannibals are, like, um, freedom fighters or, like, you know, any kind of environmentalists. I just think they're psychos. Um, but it, it does look like they're protecting their forest, right? It looks like they're like, hey, dickhead. We, we climb these trees. We hop around in these trees. What's your deal? And I'm going to say that my deal is go F yourself. I'll do what I want. You know, my deal is stop me if you can. And if you can't, shut up. <laughs> All right? That's it. That's, that's, that's just, that's it. Okay. Oh, wow. Holy crap, dude. Ooh, I am really lucky that did not break my trap. Wow. Wow, oh, wow. Dude, that's lucky. The thing is with these, um, with these happy birthday... By the way, I didn't know this was over here with stone. Um, the thing with the happy birthday traps is, if you break one in the configuration I have it in, the whole thing's effed. Okay? I mean effed in the A, royally. Okay? Because, um, you, you can put them down next to each other the way I did when they're ghost images. Uh, at least the last time I tried, you can't do it when they're fully built. Maybe that's been changed? I don't know. That would be awesome if it was. But I gotta be careful with the happy birthday traps. I didn't think these fucking, I didn't think these trees would fall this way. But eh, it worked out, so. Oh boy, oh boy. And of course it's getting dark. Alright guys, it's the morning and it's raining out and I'm getting cold. And someone said something about some rabbit shoes or something. Or let's see what we got here. Uh, rabbit fur boots. Okay, we could do that. Two rope and three of those. Um, equipped. Okay, so I guess that means they're on. <laughs> uh, well, let's look down and see. Increases stealth, too. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So they're supposed to make me warm. Err. Um, there's also some, a warm suit you can use, but I think it takes off all your armor. So there's no way I'm going to be doing that. Um, yeah, screw that. Uh, there's no way I'm getting rid of all my defensive armor, you know, to be warm. Ain't going to happen, brah. All right, so let's come down here. Let's save, and then let's chuck some more dynamite. I slept too early, by the way, during the night, um, which was a problem because I had to wait like a, a while for the sun to come up, but it's all good. Let's see what we got going on out here. All right. So that one's almost done. Let's take a look. I do have the Texas color grading on, just so you know. Um, and when it gets to be perfect, you know, bright enough, I'll, I'll turn it off. Faux show. Okay, so that's looking all good. Um, now I'm looking for a nice dense amount of trees. I still think this is probably the best spot to check my next thing at dynamite. So, without further ado, 
And I did have some cannibals uh, come at me during the night, but they didn't do anything. They just kind of stood over there and looked at me. All right. Oh, watch out. Oh, that's not good. Ow! Owie, owie, owie! Actually, this would be a good time to do aloe vera. And uh, is, is there a way to do, like, super healing stuff? Hold on. Let's see. Let's see what we do to super healing. Um, health mix plus. So that's cone flower. Okay, so I think it's like this. There. That's healing plus, right? I don't know. I can't tell. Let's take a look. Yeah, but health mix plus. Cool. So should we take... I'm going to take the pills. Because I'm going to wait for that health mix plus till I have, like, not a lot of health. Because I don't know how much it actually gives me back. But, yeah. Alright, cool. That's why we're doing the aloe vera. Part of it. Uh, the, another reason we're doing the aloe vera is because when you fight the mutants, um, you can get blood all over yourselves. And, well, the, the, the cannibals or the mutants. Um, I think it's when you cut their bodies up, though. I'm not really sure. Or, I think you can get it from deer. But you can get, like, pretty bloody in this game. And if you don't wash yourself off, you, uh, will get... I don't think it's a risk of infection. I think you just get infection. So, yeah. Um, and if you get infected, you just kind of eat the aloe vera plant. And you're good to go. Okay, nine log sleds. It's not quite all of the log sleds. But it's a lot of the log sleds, and hopefully it'll be enough. I mean, I got, I can't, like, <laughs> you know, it gets to the point where, like, I can play this game for hours and hours and hours. And honestly, I'd have fun doing it. But I've got other videos I need to make as well, so <laughs> just, as much as I'd like to, I can't play this game for hours on end. So we did have to uh, stop at nine log sleds. There's still a couple log sleds out, out there, but, you know, this will get most of this built, if not all of it. Um, and it's pretty much set up. I also had to take down the stick fence here because it wasn't lined up properly. I will put it down again um, manually uh, at a later date. But for now, let's just... Okay. Well. There you go. There you go. Bye-bye. But for now, let's just go ahead and get these log sleds uh, up there. And in case you're wondering uh, how to get log sleds upstairs, I don't know if you noticed by me actually doing it, but just in case you didn't, you gotta walk up backwards. I mean, you might be able to do it forwards. I don't know. Um, but I've always done it backwards. Back when I first, like, brought a log sled up a stair, like, years ago, <laughs> um, it didn't work forwards. So I just started doing it backwards, and I've never changed. So it's probably still like that, but well, I guess let's try. Why not? All right. So you can do it kind of... Yeah, it's, it's still easier to do it backwards. If you kind of, like, shimmy it up there, you could do it, but I still think backwards is, uh, is a lot smoother. All right, so this is a tough part of the build. I don't have this inside planned out. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not ready to plan it out. But I'm kind of thinking, like, a very rough estimate of the way this is going to work is... This is going to be, like, a little entranceway, right? Um, I guess we could put a window right here, too. That would be pretty good for a window right across from the door. And then um, over here will just be building space. And then right here is going to be the stairway to the next floor. Okay, I definitely want to put the stairway to the next floor right here, which is why I have the window there. As a matter of fact, um, maybe we'll unwindow this. There we go. And then that way I'll have a nice big area over here to build the stairs. Um, maybe a window right here would be good. Yeah, I think that'll work. I mean, it's a lot of windows. Eh, whatever. Windows are fun, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build this sucker. So let's, let's start doing it. And you build the spots away from your door first. So you can get your log sleds in and out easier. The, the area you're coming up from, like where your stairs are, that's the last spot you want to build up. And make sure you get all your log sleds out um, before then. There's ways to get your log sleds out. You can actually kind of shimmy them through the door if you do it right. Um, but it's kind of annoying and you don't really want to have to deal with it if you, um, you know, can avoid it. There we go. One right there. One right there. You right here. I don't remember how the hole cutter works. I'm hoping I'll be able to cut a hole in the ceiling. Uh, we're not going to be getting the ceiling today. But the idea is we'll be putting a ceiling on. And then I'm hoping, against all hope, that I'll be able to use the hole cutter um, without breaking the, the, you know, the ground underneath it. I know you can because I've done it before. But I, I think it's I think it's annoying. Maybe I don't remember that. It's been a while, so <laughs> we'll just kind of have to see where things go. And we're gonna go where the build takes us. If it doesn't allow us to do certain things, um, we'll do other things. And um, it's gonna come out awesome either way. I can almost guarantee you that. Okay, there you go there. There you go there. All right. Now what we need to do is we need to get all of these log sleds out of the inside uh, before we go any farther. Well, guys, it sounds like we've got an unwanted visitor in the area. Although, I'm hoping he's kind of stuck up there on the ridge. 
Um, if he's up there on the ridge, he might like sense me and start yelling, but maybe his AI will not allow him to jump down. Um, you hear that? Where is that coming from? It's coming from inside the house. Get out. All right, well, we've got a log suds out of the... This freaking guy. I hear him, but... Yeah, he's up there. I think he's having problems with his AI. Because I don't think it'll allow him to run down here. Eh, what else? Keep yelling, you numb nuts. Okay, there we go. So let's bring this back. It's it's you know how hard it is to ignore that that sound. It's like nails down a chalkboard to me with this game. Okay, there we go. There we go. And there we go. All right. So what I will do is I will keep these log sleds up here because they will be useful for things up here. Um, and the empty log sleds I will drop down below. What, this is the way I've been doing it, by the way. Just kind of come to the edge, <laughs> let it fall over. The hell with it, right? Boy, man, we got a lot more log sleds than I um than I actually needed. Let's see if we can spot this guy from up here. See, I don't see him. I'm not really sure where he is. Alright, not really concerned either. We are going to call this one here, guys. If you've never enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.